Oh, hello there, everybody. My name is Minsk, and this is Ys. Memories of Celseta. Wahaha! <laughs> Welcome. You might see we have a change of party here a little bit. In fact, the classic Ys hero, Adol, is gone from the party. What? Sacrilege! He's the freaking Ys guy. Well, that's what you're allowed to do in these party-based Ys games, apparently. And new character Frida has the slash type of damage, the same as Adol. And this game doesn't seem to do the thing that E7 did, where you can buy different types of weapons, different types of swords for Adol that change his damage type. Which, I think in E7 you, you had to have Adol in the party, right? Do I remember that correctly? But you, at least you could do that to at least vary up the, like, party composition. In this one, instead, we haven't, I haven't really noticed that yet. Instead, we just have, like, Adol doing slash damage. But... Frida is also a slash damage user, and she's a new party member, so let's freaking rock with her for a while. There's no law saying we can't do that. Except perhaps, again, the whole... Proper Ys experiences with Adol Kristen law, but I don't know. Isn't Ys Origin, like, that doesn't have Adol in it, because it's like a prequel set? A hundred years before Ys, so, yeah. Just, you know... Just let me have me fun here, guys. I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm making assumptions of the viewers. I don't I don't think that many people watching this actually care about that. Um, right. So once again, trying to surmise what happened last time because quite a bit happened. We arrived here in the village of Danan, where we found out that Duran was here all along. He was from this village. He was basically monitoring what was going on with Adol and the Mask of the Sun. And Frida here was Duran's. I think like childhood friend or something, who was like the local liaison who's been now helping us out. We uh, also found out what the Mask of the Sun is. Uh, I forget where it came from, but okay, the, the, the origin of that I don't quite remember. I remember the origin of this village was the refugees from, uh, I guess, the floating continent of Ys, because El Deal was implied to be from there, which also has like these winged angelic beings hanging out in it. And, yeah, the, we all, like, left there. These people became refugees. And the Mask of the Sun allows you to read the Akashic Records, which, in a metaphysical sense, are the blueprints of the world. It's basically the knowledge about everything, past, present, and future. So, now that we know what the stakes are, yeah, of course, Gruda. Makes sense that Gruda would want those. Like, that's unimaginable power to have such a mask in possession. We also find out that El Deal's, like, split personality thing was a thing that was happening already years ago. He was the one who destroyed the Kingdom of Celseta, like, eight eons ago, when he was having one of these episodes of his evil split personality. Uh, then Lisa showed up. A. Lisa is Celsetan royalty, or descended from. B. She's got a giant demon dragon thing that's a Galbalan? That is a thing that, if, uh, if you watch... East Othenfelgana, either myself or some other person playing through, you will find out is a horrible monster in that. But this one was like a, a familiar in a way, a giant one that is. Lisa tried to, and did actually successfully take the Mask of the Sun, which was returned here. Oh, by the way, Adol had taken the Mask of the Sun during his pre-amnesia time, but Frida restored it here. Lisa stole it. Then Gruda, who had been manipulating Lisa, stole the mask, and now he's heading for... I think it was the ruins of the Kingdom of Celseta. They, they gave it a name as well. He's gonna go there where he can access the Akashic Records, and that would be very bad. I don't think I explained that super well, but like, come on, a whole lot of stuff happened last time, so, you know. <laughs> come on. <laughs> it was alright, I think. The point is, Gruda now has the mask, and... The stakes are super high, and we gotta go and stop him. Oh yeah, Gruda's also from this village, by the way. He was the third member of this friend group of Frida, Durin, and Gruda, I think. But he basically became a bad guy and ran off, and now he's back to be extra bad. But uh, enough about all that super serious stuff. We got a few quests to take care of. Secret Synthesis. I need the ingredients for a certain top-secret elixir. 
I'll tell you more in person, so please speak with me in my laboratory. So, good luck charm, Mikuri. I'm looking for an accessory that will increase my luck. If you have anything that seems to fit that description, please bring it to me. I'll give you a suitable reward. That sounds a little tough. I don't know if we have any good luck, like, accessories. Finally, Twilight Flowers. I've heard reports that a dangerous plant monster called an Anderola has been sighted in the subterranean forest. I would appreciate it if someone would go to feed it. Oh, well, that one sounds a little rough. It's a boss fight. The other two just, you know... We can't pull up a map while we're inside, can we? Oh, but we can apparently just talk to this guy to pick up the quest. Never mind, this person was the quest giver all along. Oh, ask about the Anderolas. Anderola seems to be a subspecies of another type of beast called a flora. If left alone for long enough, there's a chance they'll begin to multiply. So I would appreciate it if you could eradicate them quickly. Alright. Interesting. Have we been able to get, like, trivia on the boss monsters in these side quests this whole time? I've, I've missed the memo. Anyway, now, no, once again, where, where, there's the map. Alright, there's somebody in the middle, and then there's somebody over there to the side. Right. Let's see if we can't do these other things. Some of these seem a little challenging in terms of, like, can I get these items they're asking for? Hand over a good luck accessory. Have we got anything? Let's find out. You brought an accessory for me? Why, thank you. So, which accessory are you going to give me? Silver Axe. This is an accessory that lets you obtain rare items more easily, correct? Hmm, it seems interesting. I think I like it. So you're sure I can have this silver axe? I guess so. I haven't had it equipped, so whatever. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here's something from me in return. Enigma tablets, 20 of them. Goodbye, then. May we both find happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's then swing by over here. Find out what's going on here at the synthesized thing. At the magic laboratory in Danan, you can use materials to synthesize medicinal items. Oh! Some rare items can only be synthesized here. Well, hot damn. That's, like, really good. Wow! Look... This one isn't even that, like, demanding. This one, though. Okay, yeah. We could, like, make a ton of bitter potions. 500 HP. Uh, hold on. What's our HP situation? That's still good. That's nothing to sneeze at. Like, even Durin, three of them will get him back up to, up to pep. So, like, and the fact that there doesn't seem to be a carry limit on items. Good heavens. I do feel like I do need to hold on to these, though, just so I can, uh... Oh, these uh, nuts and leaves, just so I can give all the little animals we keep bumping into in the world some. <laughs> uh. well, let's see. Then there's Rhododoblets and Silsetan Pan Panacea. Darn, I really would have loved if we could have made this Silsetan Panacea, you know. Oh, and then there's some extremely expensive elixirs that'll give you permanent boosts, but you need... Is there anything I can get right now? No. It's just these three, and... We're close with the life elixir, but, you know... Who knows where we get this rota leaf from? Well, file it under stuff to consider, I guess. Mmm... Yeah, no, they're just like, no, feel free to just make as many as you want, apparently. Ha. Huh. This might be a little beardy, but I'll make me myself a little more of these. Now, I still have plenty of fresh leaves, so... Let's make a sneaky set of rota droplets as well. There we go. I'd say we still have plenty of supplies there. Kai not Kaiser, what was it? Celsedon droplets? What was the name? The, the better one? The, 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 the full full restore one. I would have loved that one, but... Not... Obviously very powerful, so no supplies for that. 
Whoa, I don't remember. Did he have that insane gaze the last time we saw him? I don't think the camera was pushed in on him hard enough. I think uh, Grandpa's been uh, sampling some of the uh, chemical reagents here a little too much. If uh, that's, that's the look he gets. Oh boy, cooking. Who, who let him cook? <laughs> that's really creepy. Yeah, <laughs> do you need something? You put a quest on the board, right? We're here about that. Could you tell us what it is you need? <laughs> of course, I can rest easy if you're the one taking care of this. What I need you to do is bring me the ingredients to brew up a special elixir. Something like a, you know... Maybe something to bring you down from your high, I'm gonna assume, <laughs> judging from that stare. Specifically? Uh, oh, I'm not allowed to say, am I? I almost forgot. It's not something dangerous, is it? I don't think we should accept a request which may end up directly or indirectly harming people. Considering you are asking us to do this for you, I feel you do have a duty to explain. That's a completely reasonable view. But I'm not the one who wants this elixir made. And I have a duty to protect my client's privacy. But I can't force you to accept either, so if you're not interested... Um, well, actually... I can promise you on his behalf that it's not going to be used for anything dangerous. As can I. In fact, I have a good idea on what this elixir is. And if I'm right, there's no need to worry at all. Okie dokie. So client confidentiality is the only reason you cannot say then? The issue is not one of public safety? Well, if Turin and Frida say so, I think we can trust him. We'll just assume it's something deeply personal and leave it at that. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah! Well, I'll leave it up to you whether you want to undertake this request or not. The ingredients I'll need are as follows. A yupal flower, a libra flower, a reparo fruit, an Arieta fruit. Then, I'll need a poisonous organ and some frog extract. Oh, and some acidic liquid and a slime mold as well. I'll need one each of these eight ingredients. If you are inclined to help, I would be most appreciative. Jeez, okay. I hate to say it, but I might have to file that one under. We're just going to have to work on that. That's... Such a list of items we need. What? Run that by me one more time? Yupal flower, Libra flower, Aparo fruit, Arieta fruit, poisonous organ frog extract, acidic liquid slime mold. Is there something that even drops some of those items? Like, I'm pretty sure when we were looking at the... Hold on, where's that one... Giant crockle, giant frog, for example. There we go. Does drop a frog extract. Do we have those? I'm not gonna remember all eight items, but you know, let's really quickly review this. We do, in fact, have frog extracts. And what's this? We also have poisonous organs. Oh. Never mind, it just doesn't sound that bad. Then I, you know, got in the items we need, apparently. Um, acidic liquid and slime mold. Now, slime mold, I think, jumped out for me while we were looking at the synthesized list. I think that I do not have. Yep, there it is, slime mold zero. Yeah. I, and also, areata fruit we don't have, so... Yeah, this one's not... Ooh. It's a funny little glide, the way she dodges. Yeah. Um, that one is uh, not in the cards for the moment, I guess. This this quest. Although I could, mm, 
if, if you folks at home have the patience, we could really quickly go to that guy in in uh, Kaznan who like lets you swap items for better items. So we could see if we could get a uh, some of these items. But let's see, acidic liquid is also. We don't have slime mold. We don't have Arieta fruit. Yupel flower, Libra flower, Raparo fruit, acidic liquid. Mm. Uh, we have Raparo fruit. Yay. Oh, but our, our flower situation's bad. No Yupu flower and whatever the other flower was that I already forgot. Filthy liquid. Got frog extract, though, so that's good. Oh, but acidic liquid. Oh, we got acidic liquid. Nice. So... We need the Yupel, the two flowers, Yupel and Libra, and we need a Rieta fruit and uh, slime mold. So we're actually halfway through. That's not too bad. Let's us go down to Kazdan real quickly. Why don't we? I'm not sure if this was actually faster than warping outside the city gates to come into the mines. That animation on that roll is pretty funny, I feel like. It doesn't look supernatural to me. Oh, it looks supernatural, but I meant, like, doesn't look very natural. You, you, whatever. Uh, refine. Was it refine? Is for minerals. Oh, it's the swapping guy. Uh, this dude. Exchange materials guy. Okay. Huh. Oh, you can only make this stuff. Is there an exchange guy in any of the other towns who might be able to do something heftier? Just out of curiosity. Let's let's make a quick run around. I seem to recall I had trouble finding anybody to do these things earlier. Like I, like I had to go back to had to go back down there, but. Um, Here's an exchange person, so... Here we go, this is at least... Yeah, yeah, check it out, we got it! Ooh. Oh, okay, so hold on. We need two Yupel flowers just to make a Libra flower, but then we need, uh... One more Yupel flower just to be part of the quest. Okay, so we need three altogether, and we got plenty of marl flowers, so no problem. Wow, bet you didn't think we'd ever, like, do this mechanic, right? Like, I, I was like, I'm not interested in all of this swapping, this is too much work. Lo and behold. There we go. Now, we could probably hunt for some, uh... Also, we needed an Arieta fruit. We could probably hunt for some, like, cool items, like maybe those elixirs that give you permanent boosts. Like, we could maybe go for those as well, but doing a lot of the swapping... I'm not that interested, you got me. Uh, so let's review the journal real quickly. Sorry, there's a lot of things to remember here, okay? Just give me some slack. <laughs> Yupel flower, Libra flower, Reparo fruit, Arieta fruit, uh, poisonous organ is good. Frog, uh, no, no, sorry, Poisonous Organ is missing, I think. We had Frog Extract and Acidic Liquid, but Poisonous Organ and Slime Mold are the only ones missing now. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I have Poisonous Organs. Well, what was the one I was missing then? God damn it, this is... This is hard... Wonder if you could just swap in the ones you can like you have on hand, and he'll be like, "Now you only need such and such and such." We have frog extract, we have poisonous organ, and we have acidic liquid. So it's the slime mold that we are missing. Yeah, I was missing four things, and I got three. So it's just the slime mold I'm missing, right? Because I got the two flowers, symbolizes purity and has various medicinal properties. Yay. And I got the one fruit. So, so we just need slime mold. Uh, 
Is that a plant material by any luck? No, it is not. Well, but now that we know about this, let's warp into another spot. Let's see what's going on at Cell Ray. Oh, I'm a little worried that only, only Komodo has like those higher tier items owing to the fact that they're like, you know, this hunter-gatherer society, so they probably have like really good items on, on hand. But let's check the exchange here. Yeah, these look different. This one's a new tier here, for sure. It ended on clear liquid, I'm pretty sure, in Komodo. Fortunately, we don't need any of these. We're good with the frog extracts. No beans. Uh, well, we got two more, but was there any exchanges to be done in the non? Well, actually, we don't know, because I didn't... I didn't uh, check the store in Danon. Just wanted to hear that song for a second. That, especially that screaming guitar is rad. Oh yeah, this place is occupied by the Romans. Right, that part. Alright, well you, good sir, you probably have some sick items to give us, like Fierce Beast's Claws. No, this is actually, this isn't... Wow. So slime mold, that elusive slime mold, seems to be the one thing we're not getting. God damn it, okay. Although, admittedly, if there was a place you could buy slime molds readily, an underground village in a cave would be the place to go, I'm pretty sure. So, let's go shopping while we're here. And once we're done with that, we're gonna go hunt that plant monster. Oh yeah. Ooh, yes! Slime mold's right here, huh? I wonder... No, you couldn't have gotten everything. Okay, you could not have gotten every item from this store, but... but you actually, you could basically get every item just by warping to all the towns and, like, exchanging. That's kind of cool. Wait, no, not acidic liquid. Sorry, slime mold. That's the one we need. Whoops. Almost wasted some clear liquid. I think we have everything. Well, hot damn. I did not think... I did not think we would actually ever pull this quest off, so... I'm glad I looked into my, uh... Looked into my uh, inventory and checked my options here. Looks like you've brought everything I asked for. Thank you very much. Delivered all of the ingredients. I wonder what kind of elixir comes from such a bizarre set of ingredients. I can't stop thinking about it either. <laughs> well, I can't tell you myself, but how about this? I'll get to work making it right away, and when I'm done, you can deliver it to my client yourselves. Ah, that works. That's true. You don't have to worry about your client's privacy if the answer comes from the client directly. That seems an acceptable compromise indeed. Of course... He's going to have to give his client's identity. So, you know, I don't know. Like, that's also maybe a breach of, you know, confidentiality. I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to give about customer information like that out, out of a store, you know. But anyway, apparently it's Vanjo who is the client. And that's why you came all this way to deliver the elixir to me? <sighs> I don't know why you're so interested. Hey, it's in our nature to be curious. So, what's it for? Well, if you must know, it's an anti-aging elixir. What? Is there a problem with that? I don't see what's so strange about wanting to stay young. Well, that's true, but... Um, forgive me for asking, but how old are you? Been a while since I've thought about it, but probably somewhere around... 92? 
What? Oh, shush. All your shouting is giving me a headache. <laughs> it was worth gathering the ingredients just to see your reactions. I think you're enjoying this a little too much, Frida. Well, that was a weird conclusion to all of that, then. <laughs> I don't think you were expecting that answer, were you? Here's your reward. Nice! Three life elixirs. Nice! Yo! That's, uh... That's 45,000 gold's worth of items. Not to mention, like, the extremely expensive items required to make them. That was a good get. Oh, I feel exhausted. Yeah. It's like this whole ordeal has taken a few years off my life. Oh my god, does the potion work by equivalent exchange? That's his evil plan. Not bad. Secret Synthesis! Well, well, well. Life Elixir. Let's give these to the three highest HP persons. So, I mean, I could also give them to Duran, just make him so healthy. But let's... let's not. Yeah, let's, uh, you know... I guess I could have shored up my lowest characters was the other option, but, you know... Probably the stronger choice is to do this. And also... Let's go Strength? And the highest is... Frida! Frida! How is Frida this strong compared to her? Oh, you know what? Because we haven't gone shopping for new weapons yet, and I bet Frida has the next tier of, like, uh, items. So this might be skewing the numbers a little bit, admittedly. Eh, well, so it goes. And Frida ends up getting, basically, <laughs> both of these elixirs, but, like, wow. And you know what, Adel gets a lot of, like, you know, he got one of everything, but that's main character energy, so I get that. Alright, now let's drop by the shop, I guess, although, should I beat up the monster and then come shopping for the new gear? I'd have more money. Yeah, I can only, like, get a couple of, couple of items here. Yeah, see, this Frida has the Ancient Halberd. And everybody else has, like, this lower tier of gear at the moment, so that's why it's not happening. Interesting. Sorcery robes will give really nice defense, but strength loss across the board. That's a little unfortunate. Hmm. That is a really good strength, uh, the defense boost, though. Like, honestly, it is a good trade. Yeah, those values go up, up, up when you buy these items. Holy moly. Um, well, let's do this. Let's buy... Kalilica, a demonic mace. Fused with magic, made with Danaanian technology. As she is currently in the party, we will get that for her. Oh, you know what? I should probably have had Duran in the party, though, because he's, like, lower level. But, you know, I haven't had Kalilika in the party in a while. That's why I switched in Kalilika and Ozma for a change. Huh. <laughs> ah, well. No help in it for now. Then, yeah, th so that means we got a better chance of killing the monster, because we, you know, both of our characters now have the highest tier weapons. Man, those are prohibitively expensive. I am going to have to grind a lot of money to be able to get anything else. Although, yeah, I believe we were getting 10,000 guilders from killing this plant monster. So, if we can secure that, we can at least get a weapon for Ozma as well. Um, was it over here? Yes, it's in this tunnel. 